Hello everybody, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Player Career Mode. Today we've got episode number three coming your way and we are now locked in to staying at Borussia Dortmund. The transfer window shut at the end of last episode. There was no loan offer for us, so it means we will remain at Borussia Dortmund at least until January. Um, so we're locked in, which means we'll be playing out the season with Dortmund. And as you guys know, team selection is a major problem at the moment. We saw it last episode. It's continuing into this one as we have our first game of today against Bayer Leverkusen. And yet again, the team selection is not what you want to see. Now, there was a couple of comments asking me to change around the team to make it stronger. Now, unfortunately, I have no power in that. It's completely up to the manager. He chooses a starting 11, um, and I don't think there is any way for us to change it in any shape or form. So, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about this team selection. We're just going to have to deal with it. I mentioned it last episode, but there were still comments asking me to change it around. I can't do it like I do in the normal career mode because we can do that. But unfortunately, in player career mode, there is no such way of doing it. If you know if you know of a way, anyone out there, of how I can change it, it'd be much appreciated. If, uh, if it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, unfortunately, we're just going to have to wait for EA to fix it. But it won't be the first thing for them to fix anyway because there's other stuff they've got to get on with fixing as well. So, yeah, who knows how long it's going to take. But one of the things I'm kind of interested in today as well is we do actually have a Champions League game coming up against Barcelona. So that's going to be where I finally get to see whether or not it only affects the Bundesliga games or if it also affects Champions League. Because when we go into that, we should be playing our strongest 11. There should be no reason as to why we're not. If it still is the same case that we're playing a bad team, then I've got no idea what is going to happen in the Champions League this season. Of course, we don't know if Barcelona will play their strongest team as well. Who knows? But without further ado, let's jump ourselves into our first game of today, which is going to be Bayer Leverkusen at home at the Signal Duna Park. We scored our first goal last episode. Let's try and build on that with this game here. And again, we're going to be keeping the difficulty on Legendary for now and seeing how we go forward. And it's nice to see, actually, that Witzel is back in the team. Witzel, Schmelzer, Hummels, Alcacer is, uh, is the four players you might recognise. Of course, myself, I'm now 70 rated. So, yeah, Witzel is in the team. That's one player back in that we need. So, yeah, if we can keep doing this moving forward and keep adding a player every game that would be brilliant let's get into this one win one draw and one defeat so far is our record we want to try and better that today of course our only win coming against union berlin that 4-1 victory last episode and that's a good save already in the game after we profited from a bad pass back from leverkusen and alcacer actually got there as well but that was already out of play before the goalkeeper made the save we want to build on that 4-1 win against Union Berlin in the last episode, and we could have taken the lead in this one if I could have converted that shot there. It was really a chance from nowhere, though. It was a poor pass back from Leverkusen. They put themselves in that problem. And now we're found again here on this left-hand side. Alcacer needs to be in the middle. He is. There's the ball. And there's another good save. What? To be fair, it was straight at him. Alcacer's got to do better with the finish. Back here, finds us with the pass. We still got it as well. I'm able to turn away. Alcacer's still on. There he is. Why are you trying to give it straight back? I don't know. But two really good chances inside 12 minutes here. And we could have already started this game off brilliantly. But unfortunately, it's still nil-nil. Here is DRB for Leverkusen in search of their first chance in the game. And he sends his cross in. The keeper's come out and completely missed it. Paulinho picks back up the rebound. But, I mean, that just shows you the keeper got nowhere near that. Cranrich's ball. Dorman nil. Leverkusen won their first shot. And they scored it. He's past the half an hour mark. Kevin Volland, I think it is, with the goal as well. What, what do you say to it? Defensively, atrocious. It's not Solario, it's not even Volland. Did Volland used to wear the number 13 shirt, though, at Bayer Leverkusen? I think he did, and that's why I'm a bit confused. But it's a good finish, but the keeper there should have got it. He should have got it. It's as simple as that. He comes out, gets nowhere near the ball. And in the end, Paulinho sends it back in. Or uh, Someone on that right-hand side did. And then after that, the ball's in the back of the net. And we're 1-0 down after having two very, very good chances. Alario scores. And we have to come back from a goal to nil down to try and get something out of this game. 15 minutes to go to find this equalising goal. I think we've still got two substitutions as well to make at this point. So why we haven't done them, I don't really know. As uh, Bayer Leverkusen have now made three changes. Their goal scorer has gone off and Willian Jose has come on. But I believe we've still got two of our very own to make, unless we've already done them and I haven't seen them. Witzel in towards uh, Rashil's feet. He finds Alcacer. Alcacer's trying to give us it. We somehow come away with the ball as well. Is there a chance, though, as we're battling away? 
Tried to hit the shot. It's going to be blocked. It's all the way to the keeper. He's kicked it away. And with 10 minutes to play, I don't see us finding an equaliser. I really don't. But I don't know why it's affecting just us because uh, Leverkusen didn't put out a bad side at all here. They had a pretty decent team. So, yeah, maybe Bayern will be a good team when we come up against them. Injury time now for us, and that is going to be that. Willian Jose carries it down the right-hand side. Just the one goal in the game, but it was enough to win it for Leverkusen. Unless there's another one here. The mere by trying to win it. Witzel will get away with the ball, but that's going to be it anyway. So, Dominil Leverkusen won. Another defeat to add to this. That's now one win, one draw, two defeats from our opening four games. And I don't really know why the issue is only affecting my team because Leverkusen had a pretty good squad. Unless they haven't got many 60-rated players in their team, that could be one thing. I didn't play very well at all. A 6.3 match rating is not good enough. But then again, what can you do? We've skipped the days towards the Barcelona game, and we are not picked for it, but it is a strong Dortmund team anyway. Full 11. So what, what's the issue? Why can't we play this in the league? Why, why is it only affecting us in the league? Because it's a good enough team there, and we are not in the team. So... Let's see if the lads can get the job done here at home against Barcelona. I mean, even then, the bench. Look at the bench. There's no 60-rated players on there. There's none. As a 1-0 defeat to Barcelona. Dembele with the goal on the 61st minute. But that, that just doesn't make sense to me. I, d I don't understand what it is that's causing this issue then. Because we've seen that they have the capability to play the best team. They've just done it in the, uh, in the Champions League. But for some reason, it doesn't happen in the Bundesliga. Let's skip until Frankfurt and see what happens here. So guarantee we're going to be back to that team again. And I might not even be in it if that's anything to go by in that Champions League game. No, we are. But yet again, there you go. At least Varane's in the team this time. But no Hummels. No Witzel. Schmelzer and Alcacer are still in there. So here we are then for our second game of today. I'm not going to say anything else about the team selection. I've already made my points clear. And it's just going to be sound like, I'm just going to be sounding like a broken record if I continue. Let's see what we can do in this one. After that one defeat to Leverkusen. Feels like we're having to fight so hard to get a result when really we shouldn't really be having to work this hard. Nevertheless, let's see what we can do as Alcacer is on the ball early doors. I've been giving it back from him. Nice little turn in towards the feet of Rashil. Now the ball through to back here. The pass was on to Alcacer. But he didn't find it. And I've just fouled Torre in the process. So that's a definite free kick. Approaching half time. Not even had a shot yet at the moment. We're working with players who are taking some of the worst first touches I think I've seen. That ball up towards us. There's now a pass out wide as we try to feed it. It's worked almost and we just can't get the lip. That's a pass back, surely. What? I mean, are you joking? Because I know it wasn't intentional, but he definitely, definitely, definitely didn't look like he made that much of an effort to take that ball under control. That's all I'm saying. Half-time whistle goes. No shot for either team so far. Well, just being sent off as well for a challenge in the game. And that's more just down to the fact that I lost the ball, got a bit frustrated and decided to try and put a tackle in. And uh, yeah, so a first red card for us in our career, which is fantastic, isn't it? Honestly, though, that's more down to just frustration because of the fact that this is, this is painful to play. Painful to play. <sighs> 20 minutes to go. Frankfurt nil, Dortmund nil. And there is the full-time whistle from the game. A nil-nil draw against Frankfurt where I can't even recall a shot worthy of showing you. So, says a lot that, doesn't it? And we're going to move forward because I don't even want to waste any more time in this one. 5.3 match rating, red card. The fact of the matter is, right, look at the match highlights. The only thing to show you from the game that they've put in there is that red card. Yep, fantastic that, isn't it? Fantastic. And following our red card in that last game, it means that we are now going to be banned for our next one in the Bundesliga. So I think that's going to be Werder Bremen. I'll check it in a minute. But I've had a loan offer to join FC Emmen. I've uh, rejected it because if I did leave, it would have to be in January now as the window is now shut for, for the summer. So uh, unless it's a team that I really want to go to, I think I'll just reject any loan offers because it's pointless me leaving with six months left. Unless, of course, things are going really bad here. And it is actually Werder Bremen for this one. If I show you the table right now, it's looking very bleak indeed. It's one of the worst positions I think I've been in in any of the My Player series I've played. We're 15th and we are one place above the relegation zone. Frankfurt, who we just drew with, are the team below us. We're on five points from five games. Compare that to the top of the table. It's RB Leipzig and Leverkusen with 13 points from their first five games. So yeah, um, it's looking very bad at the moment. So let's see. 
What's going to happen in this game against Werder Bremen? And uh, even with me missing, the team is still exactly the same. It's poor, but maybe they'll surprise us as much as I doubt it. I mean, look at the bench. Berkey, Hummels, Witzel, Goetze, Akanji, Sancho, Hazard. And there you go. 2-0 defeat. Moald scoring both goals. Bremen, sir, have beaten us. Do you know what? There's a real, real risk that we might get relegated this season. I can't believe I'm saying that, but there is a risk of that happening. Because after that loss, where does it put us at the moment in the Bundesliga? Well, we, we stay where we are because Frankfurt lost as well. But, oh my goodness me. It's not a position I thought we were going to be in when I started this series off. It really isn't. Champions League game against Slavia Praha. I don't think I'll be playing this because I'm not normally picked. We are. Hello. We're going to make our Champions League debut. And it's actually a good team for once. I'm actually looking forward to playing a game now. Because we actually get to play with good players. I mean, it's not the best 11, but it's still something to actually now look forward to. Because it means that hopefully we're going to play all right. As you can see, the team, we've got hits in goal. No Berkey. Hakimi, Hummels, Akanji and Mori at the back. Delaney and Weigl in midfield. Larson on the left. Sancho on the right. Myself and Alcacer. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this game now. Let's get into it. Slavia Praha in the Champions League for our Champions League debut. And I really did not expect that we would make our debut as early in the Champions League as we are going to be here with this one. I'm hoping I can uh, impress the boss now then because this is a real, real chance as we've won back possession. Chance to play in Sancho! And he's hit the post. No! Four minutes in and I could have already impressed the boss. And we still got it actually because we nick it again. Oh, how have I not played that pass through? That's really bad of me. Slavia Praha giving the ball away twice there. And we nearly profited twice. That's a nice move, though, as they get their way up the field of play. I can't... Oh, that would have been so good to get that assist for Sancho's effort. But he's hit the woodwork. And here comes Slavia Praha, then. Looking through with, uh, the ball in towards the box. Hummels will clear it away. Dream start was on the cards. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. Corner ball to the home side after 13 minutes for them to put it in towards that near post. Sancho can't clear it away. There's Traore! And it's a real chance for the home side. Their first of the game, it was a poor clearance at the end by Jaden Sancho. Could only help it on its way in towards the box. And there was Traore, and I thought for sure we were going to see him hit the target. He didn't, put it just wide, but that's an early warning sign for Dortmund here. Last minute of the first half here as our opponents come forward. That's a great tackle. No, it's not actually, as Hummels didn't actually get the ball in the end. I saw him go to ground, I thought he was going to win the ball, and he just didn't seem to touch it. Instead, went for the player, and he's going to be uh, booked by the referee for that. And it's a free kick. In a really good area now for Slavia Praha then. To try and maybe find this opening goal in the game. I didn't mean to leave the wall there, so let's make sure I'm back in it. It's just lifted in, and Weigl's clearance went towards his own goal. So I'm not really sure what that was, but there is half time then. Nil-nil at the break. We've had a couple of chances, and you know what? We have probably been the better team here. And we are back out for the second half, and elsewhere into Milan and Barcelona, drawing one apiece in our group. So this draw here means it'll be our first group uh, points picked up if we get it. As that ball is going to be in the hands. Oh, maybe not. He could have caught that. He definitely could have caught that. Didn't need to touch it over the bar. Now we have a corner to, to defend for no reason. So let's hopefully do that as the keeper again comes out. And again, palms it. And there's the ball back in. And it's an open net. And it really should have been 1-0. <laughs> I mean, where is our goalkeeper going? What's he doing there? Another corner for us to defend then here. And just a heads up too as Sancho leaves the field of play for uh, Thorgan Hazard. Um, Inter Milan have just taken the lead against Barcelona. Brozovic with that goal as that's not defended again. What is going on in there? How many times, how many warning signs do we want? Because it seems like in, at the moment, whenever something comes into our box, we just don't deal with the danger. As Guerrero plays it towards uh, Hakimi and now we need to try and find a chance ourselves because this second half has been pretty much all Slavia Praha where the chance is. Alcacer's balling towards us, looking for a quick return maybe. Tried to give him it, and we profited by still having the ball. And we've been brought down as well. It's a free kick in a really good position. 20 minutes to play, and I believe this guy might have been the last man, but no. It's only a booking, a yellow card for Kudela. And it's a free kick that we really need to try and test the goalkeeper with. Honestly, I couldn't really play the pass to Alcacer. He was offside. I mean, he gets nowhere near the ball there, ref, actually. Who's taking it? Who is taking this free kick? Is it Alcacer again? Well, there it is. It is Alcacer and he's off the bar. Really good effort. Alcacer, so close. I mean, the chance is still here, though. Can we get it still? Delaney, now Hummels. Weigl again, back to Delaney. Don't tell me we're going to waste possession again here, though. 
10 minutes to play here. And is there a chance in the game for one of these two sides? It's been pretty even, I'll say, as that's a good tackle. But it's still working out. Hummels, I don't really know what's happened here as Traore has somehow made it through and had a shot. I mean, defensively, again, there's questions to be asked because what, how are we allowing a chance there? Traore's gone off now as well as we've got a goal kick, which we have lost possession with again. Slavia Praha have been in this game, definitely, and there might still be an opportunity here. That ball it was a box free, man! Five minutes to play! Disaster for Borussia Dortmund! It seems like the team selection isn't really even the issue at the moment because this one is one of our better ones and we are now behind by a goal to nil. Maybe, just maybe, it's the way the team are playing at the moment. Disaster! Five minutes to go and we've lost the game. Oh, I can't believe it. How has that actually happened from our goal kick as well? Our goalkeeper started that off. We lost possession. And then all of a sudden, the ball was in the back of our net. Genuinely, do not know what to say. We're appalling in the Bundesliga at the moment. But it looks like we're going to fall to defeat in the Champions League as well. And I can't even find a simple pass inside. Oh, I want to just hang my head in shame and hide, but we've got to try and step up in these next coming games because this, my friends, uh, is genuinely my worst start ever to a My Player series. And it could get worse here as they're in again. Hakimi forced to clear it away. Hazard's going to win the flick on. I've managed to get the touch as well. Alcacer's through. Has he got the pace though to continue? Alcacer needs to give it back. I haven't really got the pace. I haven't got the stamina. If you look at my bar right now, I'm out of it. No, the chance is wasted as well. I had, there was no way, there was no way I was going to be able to run all the way through there. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So I tried to give it to Guerrero. And for some reason, he didn't run with it. He tried to feed me the pass back. Slavia Praha 1, Borussia Dortmund 0. And it's another defeat. We've won one game so far. Wow, 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 wow. I'm at a loss for words at the moment because I don't know what is happening to us. This Dortmund team was... Predicted to be a challenge uh, for Bayern in the league this year. Uh, it's not panning out like that. And our Champions League form is just as bad. Defeat to Barcelona. Now a defeat to Slavia Praha leaves in no points in our Champions League group at the moment. We're dead bottom of it. And not to mention, we're nearly in the relegation zone in the Bundesliga as well. Look at that. Slavia Praha have won both of their games, beating into Milan. Honestly, we might be fighting for a place in the Europa League now. I, I don't really know what to say. Things are looking very bleak indeed. I mean, we're going to play at least one more game today as well. So uh, to give you guys another game to enjoy, or hopefully enjoy anyway, even with the way we're playing. I'm sure we're going to go back to our poor team selection for the Bundesliga game against Freiburg. But man, we need to pick up some points somewhere. Something's got to give because right now it is, it's not looking very good at all. It really, really is not. Freiburg away. We're back to the poor team selection again. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. What do you even say at this point? <laughs> I don't know. Something has to give right now. This is testing times at Borussia Dortmund. Ravet in a good position here for Freiburg. A goal this early on would really hurt us. Griffo on the left-hand side looking for a cross. There it is. And Akanji is forced to put it behind. But there wasn't a lot of talk in there because you can see two Dortmund players went for the same ball. I am currently playing a 4.8 match rating and that's because I've had about two touches of the ball so far today. And every time I like try to get on it like that, the pass is never good enough towards us. As here come Freiburg again. It's not great defending initially. Kaff still has it. And his ball through. He's going to be found to Ravitz. <sighs> not what you want to see. Especially when it's testing times here at Borussia Dortmund. I've barely touched the ball in this first half. In fact, neither really as Alcacer. And we are 1-0 down again. Mm. I really, really don't know what to do. How can we change it? How can we turn this around? How do we turn this around? Because right now, we can forget about any title challenge. And the worry is, a relegation fight is what we're having to really maybe deal with. Nobody expected to see this at the start of the season. Nobody would, pen would have penciled Borussia Dortmund to be in a relegation fight.
But if we keep going the way we are, that is where we are heading to. We need an instant reply here. Valkacer on the ball. That sums it up, really. What's that pass about? He hasn't even found anybody in a yellow shirt. Got to be protecting the ball a lot better than we are. And yeah, this, this is really, really testing. Is that Rashil's going to find us with that pass? And we've now found a pass towards Vanna. And he's trying to feed it to Alcacer. It's bouncing through. Get in. Come on. Let's get a game. Let's get into this one. One apiece. A minute to play till half time. Just what we needed. Massive amount of fortune with the way the ball bounces through. But I'll take that for our second goal. Let's make this a game. And hopefully that goal has given us a little bit of confidence moving into this second half. I don't mind going into the break one apiece if it means we come out in the second half and look for what could be the winner in the game. Good defending Valeri. And that's going to take us into half time. Right, we now have to come out in this second half, make those changes, bring the good players on and really go for this game because this could be a massive three points that we need. Here is Mori. Ball towards my feet. I've managed to turn as well, waiting for somebody to give me a run. Five minutes to play. Witzel is there. He's found Rashil. Rashil's ball towards me. Where's the next pass, though? That's the problem at the minute, as time is ticking away very quickly. Witzel again. Rashil's ball. Managed to turn on it as well. I'm in the penalty area. Is there a pass on, though? There it is. Someone finish it. Alcacer, no. Just, just kick it past him. Just put it past him. Don't kick it straight at him. What a chance. Bernat's going to get it back here. Now a chance to put a cross in towards the box. And there it is. I'm going to get the header, but it's a poor header. It's a poor header. Luckily, I think it might have touched one of the Freiburg players. Yeah, it has done. It was on target at least, so it's going to be a corner ball. A minute to play. This is massive. Massive. Can we score it? There's the delivery. Keeper punches it out. Don't blow your whistle yet, ref. I'm going to pick up the loose ball. Do not blow your whistle yet. Do not blow your whistle yet. Last chance saloon. No! No! 90 minutes of football comes to a close. Freiburg 1, Dortmund 1. It's a point gained, but they were there for the taking, man. They were. Second half, we we were all over them. Oh, we just didn't create that many chances. That was the problem. We had so much possession in that second half. We just could not create any chances. Still, 1-1 one, one draw. It's a point gained, at least. Depending on what's happened elsewhere, of course, with uh, Frankfurt. We might have at least opened a small gap to them, but you can see there, match facts. Oh, look how much we dominated the game. So annoying, man. And that, my friends, is where we are going to leave today's episode. I'm on the screen to show you my attributes so we can see how we're progressing. We're up by four overall so far. And you can see what has gone up um, from where it's gone to where it is now. We're also four-star skill moves. So I might have to start throwing some more skill moves in there. But for the meantime, we just got to focus on trying to get some points on the board because... Not really going too well for that. Look at the morale of the team, by the way. A lot of players unhappy, and you can understand it. Um, so for the moment, we uh, we do need to try and win some more games. But it's looking up because for our next game of next episode against Mönchengladbach, we have actually got Hummels in there. There's Sancho, Larsen, Alcacer, and Hakimi, and Hits as well. So some more familiar faces being brought into the team. Hopefully by the end of like this month or next month, we'll have a full starting eleven of our strongest. Um, but yeah. If you enjoyed today's episode, a like would be greatly appreciated. I do completely understand. It's very frustrating to watch us be this poor at the start of the season, um, especially with the team selection the way it is. As I mentioned, I can't really do anything about that. It's just the way that the game is at the moment. So fingers crossed it's fixed as, as early as possible. Um, but I suppose it'll make it a lot more sweeter once we do turn things around and start to win more games because we've gone through a very tricky patch here. We end the episode off in 15th place, still just ahead of Frankfurt. So a lot of work to be done, starting with that game next episode against Mönchengladbach. Until then, a massive thank you for watching this one. If you aren't around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. And I'm hoping to get the next episode up for you tomorrow on the Friday. So stay tuned for that because you won't want to miss it, especially with how things are going at the moment. Here's to hoping we turn things around pretty soon. Until next time, adios.